Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to set up the SSTP VPN access on Windows 2016 server in Active Directory. We have a request from the customer. They want to set up the VPN access to allow people to access the office network from the public, you know, internet. So let's see how can we do this. Uh, before that, I have already, you know apply the certificate for the vpn.ccq2020.com.au this is the full name for this vpn access and this intention for the you know the purpose for this certificate is for several syndication so this is already applied now and also i have if i go to the Server so Active Directory, I create a security group, SSTP VPN access, and I add an index miss to them as a member of the group. So users in this group should be able to access VPN. So let's go back to the server uh, Win 2016. On this server itself, I have installed the roles for VPN access. If I go to Server management add roles, and then I have installed the network policy and access service, and also remote access service. And this one, I just select the direct access and the VPN. And this other service here, like web server, is just that when we install just two roles, they just ask the other service just to select default, and then it's done. And then after this is done, we go to first, we go to the network policy. And then we have this, go to this policies, network policies, connecting to Microsoft routing and remote access server. It was denied before, I just that open, double click to open and enable the policy and grant access, you know, ignore the users account that are in properties and then in the conditions i just added the security group which i created in the active directory so this means the user in the group has access to this vpn so i click ok now this is done we go to the next one we go to the remote access open the routing and remote access now it's when we open this one, it is uh, not configured yet. So we just right click the server and then config and enable routing access. Then I click next. I just want to use the custom configuration. Click next. I select the VPN access only. Next. And uh, click finish. Click OK. OK again. Start service. So that's why it started now. Now let's go to the properties, right click the server, then click properties.
So this one. In the properties, we go to the security and make sure this, you know, EAP and the chat MS chat B2 is selected. And then we just click OK. And we want to apply the certificate we imported before. We just click this one. And in the IPv4 address, we use the default DHCP. We can use the static IP pool, which will put a manually input the IP range. But it's better to use DHCP. It's using the DHCP options. So we can select. Uh, Login and we want to log the additional routing and then we can apply. Yes, it will restart the service again. Now we can go OK. So this one is, you know, routing and the remote access is already set up on the server side. So let's go to the client on my computer. If I go to the uh, control panel, go to control panel, go to all small option icons, and then go to network and sharing center. I want to set up new connection. Select connect workspace. Click next. I connect VPN and put the name the you know the FQDN. I use the VPN dot ccq twenty twenty dot com dot eu, <coughs> which is I set up on the server the full name and the certificate. So I just click create. Now I created this VPN. If I go to the network, click VPN. I click VPN connection I created before I click connect so now ask me to input the username password I put the username so now says we been connected now so it's successfully connect to the VPN from my computer. So if I go to the command, I can pin the server, the domain controller. So you see this pins successfully. And if I run IP config, we go to IP config or and then we see This PPP adapter VPN is set up successfully. You see, get an IP address and also get the DNS. That's all I show you today. Thank you.